Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bahanti and you are watching Padat Vigyan. Uh, so students, welcome to another lecture of the chapter Electrostatics. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, a new concept which is electric field. So today, uh, we are going to discuss about what is electric field, what is electric field intensity and uh, how to calculate the electric field intensity due to a point charge. So let's begin. So students, uh, the first question is what is the meaning of a field? Okay. What is the meaning of a field? So now let us go back to our lower classes. Uh, in class 8, uh, we have studied that on the basis of the mode of operation, we can classify forces into two categories. The first one is contact force. The second one is non-contact force. So you can classify forces into two categories. One is contact force. The second one is non-contact force is that clear okay so now tell me what is the difference between contact and non-contact forces so the uh, we know that when one body exerts a force on another body if there is a physical contact between the two bodies then that force is said to be a contact force for example suppose i am pulling an object or i am pushing an object or I am kicking a football. So in uh, in these all cases, uh, I am touching the object. So there is a physical contact between the two objects, and that's why we can exert the force. So these type of forces are known as contact forces. But in class 11, we have studied about the Newton's law of gravitation. We know that if we have two objects uh, having masses m1 and m2. And if R is the separation between them, uh, then uh, according to Newton's law of gravitation, the force of gravitation between the two objects is given by the formula F equal to uh, G M1 M2 divided by R square. Okay. It means the two bodies attract each other. But you can see that there is no physical contact between them. So without any physical contact, they are able uh, to exert a force on each other. Similarly, uh, in class 12, in this chapter, we have studied about Coulomb's law. We know that suppose we have uh, two point charges, Q1 and Q2. And if R is the separation between them, then the electrostatic force between these two charges is given by uh, the Coulomb's constant K into Q1, Q2 divided by R square. Okay. Again, there is no physical contact between these uh, two charges, but still there is electrostatic force between them so these type of forces where uh, there is no physical contact but we are getting some force that are uh, those forces are known as non-contact forces okay so uh, the electric force the gravitational force the magnetic force all these forces are non-contact forces and remember that all these non-contact forces they operate through a field all the non-contact forces they operate through a field operate through a field is that clear okay so now let us uh, understand what is the meaning of this term field so field refers to a region field refers to a region of influence region of influence so let us understand about this uh, uh, region of influence. Suppose you have uh, a bar magnet. Suppose this is a bar magnet and uh, this is uh, the north pole of the magnet. This is the south pole of the magnet. So when you place a magnet at a particular place and if you keep uh, an iron nail near it, then you'll see that the iron nail will be attracted towards the magnet. Okay. Uh, so uh, if you take the iron nail away from the magnet, you will uh, experience that the magnetic force is slightly or gradually decreasing. So when the iron nail is close to the magnet, its attractive force is larger. But when you take the iron nail away from the magnet, you will see that the magnetic force or the uh, force with which the magnet is attracting the iron nail will reduce. So we can see that we, uh, we can say that the effect of the magnet, the effect of the magnet or uh, the influence of the magnet is stronger near it 
but as we move away from the magnet its effect will uh, reduce similarly uh, in class 11 we uh, discussed that uh, the variation of acceleration due to gravity or variation of g with height suppose this is uh, earth okay on the surface of earth uh, the value of g is 9.8 meter per second square but when you go away from the surface of earth with height what happens the value of g decreases and uh, we know that g dash is equal to g whole into 1 minus 2h by r okay so uh, g dash means uh, the acceleration due to gravity at a height h so when you move away from the surface of earth uh, then uh, its acceleration the value of acceleration due to gravity decreases or we can say that uh, the gravitational force of earth decreases so from this discussion uh, it is clear that if you take a magnet then uh, the effect of magnet is stronger near the magnet similarly if you take uh, an object suppose earth the effect of earth or the force exerted by the earth is more if you are near the earth if you go away from earth then uh, the value of force will decrease so this concept or we can say that uh, the term field refers to a space or a region around an object suppose we are talking about magnetic field so magnetic field refers to a space or a region around a magnet inside which its effect can be experienced if you take uh, the iron nail very far away from the magnet then you will see that the iron nail will not be attracted by this magnet because the iron nail is now out of the magnetic field of that magnet similarly uh, if you talk about a point charge then the space or the region around a point charge inside which its electrical effect can be experienced is known as electric field so first remember that field refers to a region of influence field refers to the region of influence so influence refers to what influence means if you're talking about uh, a bar magnet so influence means its magnetic force uh, if you talk about uh, an object of mass m then the influence means its gravitational force similarly if you talk about a point charge or any charge object then its influence means its electrical effect or electrical force okay so electric field means if i write uh, definition of electric field so i can write that uh, the space around a charge the space around a charge body inside which inside which its electrical effect electrical effect can be experienced can be experienced is called is called electric field is called electric field okay so you have to remember this definition that electric field refers to a space or you can say a region around a charge body inside which its electrical effects can be experienced okay so uh, like magnetic field or like uh, the gravitational field you cannot see electric field okay we cannot see electric field. this is invisible but it exists in space okay so uh, electric field may be strong electric field may be weak so when you are close to the charge body its electric field will be stronger but if you move away from the charge body the electric field will become weak so this electric field is a measurable quantity uh, as i said that electric field can be uh, strong it can be weak so we must need to measure electric field we have to quantify the electric field so how to measure electric field or is there any quantity uh, which measures the strength of electric field yes so remember that the strength of electric field the strength of electric field 
is measured by a quantity is measured by a vector quantity by a vector quantity known as known as electric field intensity electric field intensity so remember this term electric field intensity and this term electric field intensity will tell us whether the electric field is strong or it is weak means the strength of electric field is measured by this quantity which is known as electric field intensity it is a vector quantity it means it has magnitude and it has direction so now we will discuss about what is the magnitude of electric field intensity or how to measure it what is the formula for it and then we will discuss about what is the direction of electric field intensity as i said that uh, you cannot see electric field it is invisible so how to determine whether in a given region we have electric field or not uh, very simple suppose uh, i will give you a uh, bar magnet okay i know this is a magnet but you don't know this is a magnet i will ask you to uh, check whether this is a magnet or not so how will you know it uh, so you will bring uh, the iron nail if the iron nail is attracted by this uh, piece then it is a magnet if it doesn't attract the iron piece then this is not a magnet okay so iron nail will respond to a magnetic field so you can use the iron nail to determine whether this is a magnet or not similarly to uh, to determine whether electric field exists at a given uh, place or not what you have to do you have to uh, consider or you have to take the help of such a particle which will respond to electric field or which will react to the electric field so remember that a charged particle will respond to electric field like we discussed in coulomb's law if we place two charges q1 and q2 at some distance from each other then they will exert uh, the coulombic force on each other so i can say that there are two charges suppose this is the charge q1 this is the charge q2 the electric field of q1 will exert a force on q2 and similarly the electric field of q2 will exert force on q1 okay so remember that a charged particle will respond to or will react to electric field so to determine whether electric field exists or not we have to take the help of a charge and that charge is known as test charge so uh, now remember this new term test charge what is a test charge test charge is a charge which is used to test the presence of electric field in a region or in a space and uh, the symbol for test charge is q not the symbol for test charge is q not okay and uh, uh, by convention the test charge is always taken to be positive remember that this is the property of test charge uh, by convention we always take the test charge to be positive it is always positive test charge can never be negative and it is purely by convention there is no absolute uh, reason or explanation behind it it is purely by convention so test charge is always positive and the second property of test charge is uh, its value its value or its magnitude its magnitude is very small is very small than the source charge than the source charge so again we come across this new term source charge so what is test charge a uh, test charge is the charge particle which is used uh, to test uh, the presence of electric field and it is always positive by convention uh, the magnitude of test charge is uh, very very small uh, as compared to the value of the source charge now the question arises what is the meaning of source charge so source charge means the charge whose electric field is being calculated okay suppose i have uh, a charge capital q here and i am interested to calculate uh, the electric field intensity produced by this uh, charge capital q then this charge is known as source charge okay so suppose imagine that uh, this source charge has value 1 millicoulomb okay or 10 to the power minus 3 coulomb 
Now uh, to detect uh, the electric field or to detect the presence of electric field, I have to bring a test charge. So test charge is Q0, it is always positive and uh, the value of Q0 is always very small as compared to the source charge. So if I am taking the source charge to be 1 milliculum, then the test charge should be very small. So you can take it to be 1 microcoulomb or 1 nanocoulomb. Okay, because 1 microcoulomb is very small. Uh, as compared to 1 millicoulomb and also 1 nanocoulomb is very small as compared to 1 millicoulomb. So now the question arises, what is the reason behind taking the magnitude of uh, the test charge very small? Okay, uh, the reason is pretty simple. Look, we are going to calculate uh, the electric field due to this source charge, okay, which is 1 millicoulomb. And uh, to detect uh, or to test uh, the presence of electric field we have to uh, use the test charge okay and remember that every charge whether it is uh, uh, having a small magnitude or it is having a large magnitude every charge produces its own electric field so actually we are uh, uh, calculating or we are studying the electric field due to the one millicoulomb charge but if i take the test charge greater than the source charge or comparable to the source charge then what will happen the electric field produced by the source charge will interfere with the electric field due to the source charge so you cannot study it correctly there will be some error okay but if the magnitude of test charge is taken to be very very negligible very very small as compared to source charge then the field produced by the test charge will be very negligible will be very small as compared to the field produced by the source charge so it cannot interfere that much or we can say that the error can be minimized okay so that's the reason why we take the test charge to be very small as compared to source charge okay so remember that test charge has symbol q0 it is always positive and the magnitude of test charge is always very very small as compared to source charge okay and the reason is uh, that uh, if we take the magnitude of a uh, test charge to be very small then the electric field produced by the test charge will not interfere that much uh, with the electric field produced by the source charge so uh, as i had told you that uh, electric field intensity is a vector quantity and uh, it has the magnitude and direction so now i'll write what is the uh, magnitude of electric field intensity so electric field intensity electric field intensity at a point inside an electric field inside an electric field may be defined as may be defined as the force experienced the force experienced per unit positive charge per unit positive charge placed at that point placed at that point okay so you have to just remember this definition of electric field intensity so again i am uh, uh, reading it again uh, electric field intensity at a point inside an electric field may be defined as the force experienced per unit positive charge placed at that point okay suppose imagine that we have uh, an electric field like this this is the region in which electric field exists okay and uh, i will choose any random point suppose i'll choose this point p okay so uh, i have to find the electric field intensity at the point p so uh, what is the definition of electric field intensity uh, electric field intensity at a point inside an electric field may be defined as the force experienced which force the electric force experienced per unit positive charge it means if you place uh, a unit positive charge suppose you place one coulomb charge at this point okay so the force experienced by this one coulomb charge will be the electric field intensity suppose I will uh, put a charge Q0 okay 
uh, I had told you that uh, to uh, measure the electrical intensity, we have to use the uh, test charge. And uh, remember that the magnitude of test charge is not one coulomb. It may be one micro coulomb. It may be one nano coulomb. It may be one coulomb, provided the source charge is very large than one coulomb. Okay. So suppose I placed a test charge Q naught at the point P, and uh, it experiences a force F. So a Q naught charge experiences force F. So unit charge will experience how much force F by Q naught. Okay. If a test charge Q naught experiences a force F at a particular point in electric field, then unit charge will experience how much force F by Q naught force. And this F by Q naught is equal to the electric field intensity E. The symbol for electric field intensity is E. So E is equal to F by Q naught. Okay. So remember this formula. Electric field intensity E vector. We know that electric field is a vector quantity. So E vector is equal to force divided by the charge Q naught. F vector by Q naught. So this is the basic formula of electric field intensity force by charge force experience per unit positive charge okay so uh, from this formula uh, you can uh, say that uh, what is the unit of electric field intensity uh, the si unit of electric field intensity will be newton per coulomb okay uh, force is newton uh, charge is coulomb so newton per coulomb will be the si unit or you can write newton coulomb inverse okay and uh, uh, don't use any CGS unit because uh, most of the time we have to use the SI unit. And what is the dimension of electric field intensity? So the dimension of electric field intensity will be the dimension of force which is M1 L1 T minus 2 divided by the dimension of charge which is A1 T1. So that is equal to uh, M1 L1 uh, T to the power minus 3 A to the power minus 1. So this is the dimensional formula for electric field intensity. So remember these two important points, the unit of electric field intensity and the dimension. Okay. So now uh, this is the basic formula for electric field intensity and you can see that uh, electric field is a vector quantity. So here we have force. Force is a vector but charge is a scalar. So uh, you know that electric field intensity has direction. So what is the direction of electric field intensity? Uh, the direction of electric field intensity is exactly same as the direction of electric force acting on the test charge. Okay. So remember that the direction of electric field intensity, direction of E vector is same as, is same as the direction of electric force is same as the direction of electric force f vector on the test charge q naught okay so uh, now we are going to derive a formula uh, to calculate electric field intensity due to a point charge okay so suppose imagine that uh, you have a point charge capital q here okay and uh, this point charge produces an electric field around itself and uh, I'll choose a point somewhere here. Uh, this is uh, a point which is at a distance R from the charge uh, capital Q. Okay. So at this point, I want to calculate electric field intensity. So I will derive a formula uh, how to calculate the electric field intensity uh, due to a point charge at some distance from it. So uh, again, the same procedure. Uh, since I am interested to find uh, the electric field intensity at this point, I will place a test charge Q naught here. Okay, I will place a test charge Q naught here. And then I will see how much amount of electric force is it experiencing. Okay, so uh, the electric force experienced by the test charge Q naught is uh, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught uh, capital Q into small Q naught divided by r square according to uh, coulomb's law suppose these uh, two charges are placed in vacuum so according to coulomb's law this is the force experienced by the uh, test charge now what is electric field intensity 
फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस फॉर यूनिट पॉजिटिव चार्ज और एफ बाई क्यू नॉट सो एफ बाई क्यू नॉट विल बी हाउ मच इट विल बी वन बाई फोर पाई एफ सी लॉ नॉट क्यू डिवाइड बाई आर स्क्वेयर ओके द इलेक्ट्रिक इंटेंसिटी विल बी एफ बाई क्यू नॉट दैट इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर पाई एफ सी लॉ नॉट क्यू बाई आर स्क्वेयर क्यू इज द सोर्स चार्ज ओके सो दिस फॉर्मूला इज Uh, or it it will help you to calculate uh, the electric field intensity due to a point charge. For example, suppose uh, the value of capital Q is uh, let us say one uh, millicoulomb, that is ten uh, to the power minus three coulomb, and you are finding uh, the electric field at a distance of three millimeter. Okay, three millimeter means three uh, into ten to the power minus three meter. So always you have to convert all the uh, quantities in SI system. So what is the electric field then uh, at this uh, distance? So one by four pi epsilon naught uh, q divided by r square. So uh, the value of one by four pi epsilon naught is nine into ten to the power nine. Uh, then we have charge which is one millicoulomb that is ten to the power minus three coulomb uh, divided by r square. So r is uh, three into ten to the power minus three. So r square will be nine into ten to the power minus six. Okay. So your nine nine will cancel. So you get ten uh, to the power nine plus six means fifteen uh, uh, minus which will be ten to the power twelve. So ten to the power twelve newton per coulomb. Ten to the power twelve newton per coulomb is the uh, electric field intensity at a distance of three millimeter from uh, uh, one millicoulomb charge. So uh, this formula will help you to calculate the electric field intensity due to a point charge, and you have to remember this formula. Okay. So uh, remember that if you have a charge Q and you are you want to find electric field intensity at a distance r from it, the formula is one by four pi epsilon naught Q means the magnitude of the source charge divided by r square. Okay. So uh, now uh, we have to mention the direction. Okay. So look at uh, The diagram again. Uh, I am drawing the diagram here. This is the source charge uh, Q. This is the test charge uh, Q naught. And remember that the test charge is always positive. It is always positive. Okay. But uh, this source charge, it may be positive. It may be negative. So we will consider the two cases. Suppose imagine that the source charge is positive. So I had told you that uh, the direction of electric field intensity. is exactly same as the direction of the electric force acting on the test charge so if you place the test charge here it is always positive and i have taken the source charge to be positive so join the line bit uh, or uh, join the two charges using this line like this okay and we know that the coulombic force is central force uh, the force will act along this line okay so since both are positive charges then uh, this uh, test charge q not will be repelled it will be repelled by the source charge so i can say that uh, this charge capital q will repel the charge q not like in this direction okay away from it so the test charge q not will experience a repulsive force in this direction okay so you can say that uh, this arrow mark is away from the source charge it means the direction of electric field intensity due to a positive charge is always directed away from it this arrow mark represents the direction of electric force on the test charge or the direction of electric field intensity due to the source charge q so remember that for a positive charge for a positive charge the electric field is directed away from it is directed away from it it means if i choose a point here the electric field will be in this direction if i choose a point here the field will be in this direction okay so remember this important point now suppose assume that uh, the source charge is uh, negative okay this source charge q is negative but test charge is always positive again uh, join the two charges using this line now what will happen uh, the this is negative charge now this negative charge uh, this negative source charge will attract the 
stays charge q not towards itself the attractive force will be directed in this direction is that clear so now the force is towards the negative charge it means the electric intensity is also towards the negative charge so remember that uh, for a negative charge for a negative charge electric field is directed towards it is directed towards it is that clear so uh, there are two important points uh, for a positive point charge the electric field is directed away from it and for a negative point charge the electric field is directed towards it okay and uh, the strength of electric field is given by the quantity electric field intensity for a point charge uh, the electric field intensity is given by uh, kq by r square or 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught uh, q by r square now the last thing uh, i have to tell you uh, the graphical representation uh, of the variation of electric field intensity with the distance suppose you want to plot a graph between electric field versus distance so electric field with a point charge uh, with the distance from it so you can see that the formula is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught uh, q by r square it means uh, with increase of distance the electric field will decrease uh, and it will obey the inverse square law so the electric field will be like this this is the graphical representation between uh, electric field and the distance so uh, students that's all uh, uh, about the electric field electric field density its magnitude its direction and how to calculate the electric field intensity due to a point charge and i want to tell you the last formula the last formula is uh, look at uh, this basic formula the basic formula of electric field intensity so uh, we know that electric field intensity is equal to f by q naught okay force by charge so uh, suppose imagine that uh, this is uh, a region where electric field exists and at this point the electric field intensity is e okay so if i place a test charge q naught or any charge q naught at this point then what will be the force experienced by the charge the answer is f equal to charge times electric field q naught into e so this is an important formula it means if uh, at a certain region or at a certain point the electric field is e and you have a charge there the force experienced by the charge is given by the uh, magnitude of charge multiplied with the electric field so students i hope that uh, you have understood all the concepts uh, of electric uh, that i discussed in this video still if you have any kind of doubt you can ask me in the comment section in the next video uh, we will discuss about electric dipole uh, what is the meaning of electric dipole and uh, we will derive uh, the formula for the electric field produced by electric dipole so till then have a nice day and bye bye